what? You actually thought you were going to wed, right? Uh, so you think you will use this cursed pregnancy to trap my son into marriage, right? Eh? Oh, madam, so, so why are you trying to ruin my sister's happiness? Oh, look at this fat boy! Will you shut up before what I do woman? You? What is your problem? You think you will just walk into somebody's compound and start shouting like a white dog? You have what a house? What is your Who are you? Madam, just hold this one first! <laughs> and that's for you! Oh, 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 Hey, 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 hey,
Around and around, it's life above money. The feeling we want to ladies and gentlemen. Let's Tony, I've seen life. Tony, what is happening? Where are you? Are you in the church? Yes, I am outside the church and the pastor is already waiting. Okay, let them wait. I'm just taking care of the situation, alright? Okay. Hello? 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 So let us hold on strong. Cause love always comes at all. Oh, let us hold on strong. Love always wins it all. Oh, let us hold on strong. Cause love always comes at all. Objections arise and them turn all apart. I'm feeling the heat and it's tearing my heart I can't burn the candle from both ends all right That's just the reason I'm feeling this fight <laughs> Why isn't she picking the phone? She notices me calling. Hello. Hello, Tony. Yeah, my brother, man. There's a problem. Yeah, I think you should just start coming straight to um, Christ the King Hospital at um, this village. What was the name? Up and now. I'm trying to find a way of how I can locate Sophia. What am I going to do to the remote area? Listen, Tony, listen. I'm sorry to say this, but Sophia has been involved in a ghastly motor accident. What? What did you say? What? I think she was driving up the town, maybe to somewhere else to sit down or whatever. And somehow I think she's 
you've lost control of her. Honestly, the car has been battered. Beyond the honestly. Just, just start coming down. What's the name of the hospital? Um, Christ the King Hospital. I've got my name. You know that village now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm on my way. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will survive. This situation is not terribly bad. It's okay, John. I don't want you to worry yourself. I told you this thing before. This is a very critical moment. A very serious moment of temptation. Just have to deal wisely with this whole thing. Quit worrying. But why should this happen on my wedding day? Right? Of all days, why this day? This is supposed to be one of the happiest days in my life. Um, I'm sorry, sir. She has lost the privilege. What did you say? What? What? There is equally a serious damage to her womb. And medically, I can confirm to you that she will not be able to conceive again. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Nevertheless, she will survive. Oh, 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 uh, no, 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 no. It's been yeah, but she will survive. She will survive. Okay. My God. Mom, what you did is very, very wrong. It's wrong, Mom. If that girl dies eventually, her blood is on your head. Because you push time to that ass. I put it to you that you're an idiot. A complete idiot. Oh, what do you want? You and your brother, you want to end up marrying people without moral values? You are very stupid. Hey, 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 hey! hey. Yes, stop it, stop it! Leave me alone, leave me alone! You see what you've caused? You see what you've caused? And you made her have, have an accident, and she's lost her pregnancy. So you now have the effort to attack me? Because I'm a useless girl, right? I want you. I want you not to marry my girl. But no, you refused. Mom, why? Who is talking now? Please shut up. Shut up and get out of my side. Oh, the think of you. Think you can put me to shame. I, Madam Bakasi, right? Oh no. I'm sorry to disappoint you this time. Hey, listen to me, man. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. We have enough problems on our hands already, okay? Uh -huh. Just calm down. No, Please, everybody, him. calm down. No, leave him to beat up his mom. Calm I'm down. out of here anyway. I want you this time. You want to beat me because of some useless girl.
Pick up the bus. Pick up the, the bag. Who are you? To push down my bag. Are you crazy or something? I just said I was talking. Okay. Come back here. You actually want to walk out on me? Look at this. This total prostitute. You as a prostitute. What is wrong with you? It was a mistake and I said I was sorry. Madam Bacassi? A prostitute. Something did they try to help you? Well, they were all shocked. You know, everybody was shocked. I just I held myself back because I didn't want to be important when I fought the market. I held myself back. This is strange. Uh, did you get hurt? I hope you're fine. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Really? They like, all got home washed up. I'm just shocked. Mother is going to be a first. Oh, she has to be. I mean, look at you, you ravish him. Look at the physique. Damn. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. What are you doing here? What are you doing with a prostitute? Mother, this is Sophia. My fiance has spoke to you about why are you speaking like that, Mom? What are you still doing here? What am I? What are you doing? What is wrong with you? What are you doing with a prostitute? Tell me! What's your problem? Have you met my mother before? I'm confused. She didn't tell you. No, I didn't even give her the chance to talk to me. Because you should be talking to me. If there's anything that should be explained, it should be coming from you. That's why I'm listening, because I don't know. Have you met my mother before now? She... It was the woman I told you slapped me at the market and poured oil on me. What? <laughs> to me, I swear I didn't do anything to her on that faithful day. I didn't do anything to her. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I can't even laugh. Are you telling me this is this trivial thing that is bringing about all this commotion? <laughs> no. It's okay. I believe you 100%. I believe you. And I know to what extent my mother can go. 
the things that you can do. It's all right. Don't worry. Who solved this? I mean, I'll talk to her. I need nobody's apology. You're not a wife material. You can never marry my son. So Mother, you overreacted. Get out of my house and out of my son's life. Mom, I think you overreact. Whatever happened that day was an accident. And she's apologizing regardless. What's the problem? Will you shut up? Can't you see? I don't need anybody's apology. There's, 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 there's nothing about her that shows that she will make a good wife. You cannot marry her. I'm very sorry, Mom. You know what, Mom? I'm done with this. I am done with this! Why are you taking this out of proportion? You are the one to slap her in the first place. You poured oil on her and she's apologizing. You still don't want to do this. Shut up! Sophie. What do you know? Were you there? She was the one that poured the oil on herself. Now just, just look at her. No traits of a wife. Look at her from head to toe. You are not going to marry her. Oh, my son will not marry one. Oh, please don't touch me. Get out of my house. Get out of this. Get out of this. Stop it. Stop it. What's wrong with you? What do you mean what's wrong with me? I said to my head, oh! She's apologizing. And you still don't say it. You don't, you don't see it? I oh, know I don't. I don't see it! What's wrong then? I don't have any problem. I should be asking you that question. You're like a ring. What happened was not my fault. Who's it? I know. It's okay. You'll be fine. The doctor has confirmed that you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. I've done everything I can to make you reason. You refuse. All you want to do is conclude that she's a prostitute, she hasn't got good behavior, she can't be a good wife. Why? Because of some stupid misunderstanding you had in the marketplace? Is that why? Are you daring me? I'm not daring you. And I don't understand what is happening. What is wrong? Besides, she's pregnant for me. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to marry her whether you like it yeah. or not. Okay. That all makes sense. I guess they told you that once you mention that she's pregnant, I'll be so happy and allow you to marry her. Well, too bad, son, because I'm not going to change my mind. And you better tell her that that thing she's carrying is cursed. Excuse me. Well, at the end of the day, it's my decision to make. I'm going to marry her whether you like it or not. I'm the one who's going to stay with her, not you.
always been here. What do you mean? You mean you're still, you're still going to marry me? She asked me the same question in the hospital. I was blank. I didn't know what to say. But you can trust me. Considering the fact that it's me my mother that is causing her with this trauma, it would only be fair I, just, I stick by her, right? Mom, 
listen, you know initially I was against the action you took. But now I support you fully. Mom, I want you to do everything, I mean everything within your past to make sure that brother does not get married to a barren woman. <laughs> Tony dares me. Tony dares to bite the breasts that he suckled. He dares to kick against the stomach that carried him for nine good months. As long as I live, Tony will be better. Are you aware that he says that you're the one that is responsible for the accident? <laughs> he can say whatever he likes. That's his business. All that would not have happened if he had listened to me in the first place. I mean, why would a son, for crying out loud, want to marry a girl that disgraced his mother in the marketplace of all places? He's planning to wed her secretly. Whether openly or secretly, that marriage will never hold. I trust you. Except they both want to die and go and marry with the great behold. I trust you. I am Madame Pakasi. Nothing, absolutely nothing happens without me. And as for that girl, I am going to deal with her for coming to ruin my son's life. Anyway, enough of those people. Darling, can you go upstairs and get me some vitamin C? I think I'm coming down with a cold. Oh, sorry. Tony, Tony, you have to bite the hands. Son is planning a secret wedding. Yes, I'm aware. You are aware. And you support him? Well, Tony is my friend. I have to support him in whatever he wants to do. I see. I understand you're the only son of your family, right? Yeah, I'm the only son. Why, why are you asking me all these questions? I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but I actually need you to answer me objectively. As the only son of your family, would you marry that kind of woman that Tony wants to marry? Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. But you know that Tony is a full-grown man. I don't make decisions for him. I don't make choices for him. And I believe that if he has chosen to marry Sophia, Irrespective of the situation, I think you should support him. I put it to you that you're a bad man. A very, very bad man. So if you were in Tony's shoes, you would actually go ahead and marry a woman that the doctors have certified barren? Oh, you are evil. Very evil. And you see, all you evil men around Tony, I will deal with you one by one. Today. Brother, I'm not staying. I'm not staying. Sadik is there. You can take care of them when so they come. So they cannot down. do it. 
I need you to stay here, no, take I care of the people, so you I leave them. Stay. I want to come with you guys. I don't want to stay. Please stay, stay, wait for me. I'm coming. It says stay back. Some people are coming, you pick them and bring them in 20 minutes, okay? okay. I want to come, I don't sorry, want to stay. Sorry, sorry, stay back. Love is a journey. Turns us around and around. It's life above money. Feeling we want to abound. Between our lives fighting, let's slow this fighting. If only this love could be left. Make sure the same compound. I've seen lives of people tidy and up Stephen. Only because of their bond. So let us hold on strong. Cause love always wins it all. So let us hold on strong. Cause love always comes at Jin, Jin, are you there? I'm almost at the house. So what's going on with you? Mom, they just left. Where are you? They just left? Where? Come, driver, Madam. did you see any car decorated with balloons like a car heading for a wedding? Madam, I didn't see any decorated car, madam. Just, just move fast, move okay, fast. Please. Okay, madam. Between our lives fighting, Hello, Mom. let's slow Hello. this fighting. If only this love could be left to grow. I've seen lots of people tie their knots even. Only because of their bond So let us hold on strong Cause love always wins it all So let us hold on strong Cause love always comes at all Oh let us hold on strong as love always wins it all. Oh, let us hold on strong. Jay, Jay, where are you? Yes, mom. What are you doing here? I asked you to follow them to the wedding. That was my instruction. Yes, mom, but brother said I shouldn't ride with them. He said I should stay behind. That some people are coming. That will send somebody to come and pick us up. Oh my God! So where's the wedding holding? They kept changing their plans. But what I gathered finally is that the wedding will hold in a school, but I don't know the name of this school. Oh, Jane, 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 must you disappoint me? I'm sorry. Anyway, you know what? Just stay back here and wait in case somebody comes, all right? Just make sure you give me a call, all right? Okay. I'll rush off now. Objections arise and them turn all apart. I'm feeling the heat and it's tearing my heart. I can't burn the candle from Sassy, both ends of my heart. That's just the reason I'm feeling this fight Up in the sky, down in the air You're the one that I love for life So hold on strong As love always wins it up So let us hold on strong Cause love always comes at all Oh let us hold on strong Cause love always wins it all Oh let us hold on strong Cause love always comes at all actually invited for the wedding, but I lost my invitation card. Do you know where the venue is? Are you sure you are in the right place? Is this not Sophia's house? Yeah. This is Sophia's house. Yes, but they said they needed the wire to wedding. Even they didn't even print an invitation card. I know, but uh, I want to attend the wedding. Do you know where the venue is? No, I don't know. I don't know. Never was we are not invited at all. Love is 
But there's supposed to be a wedding going on inside the school. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. No, okay. Let's go. My friend Jabuka. You fool. A fatherless fool. My friend, move this camera if I slap you. They forgot the rings. What? They forgot the ring? How? Why? They, they forgot asked the ring. me not to tell you. Take it easy. Okay, but they've gone to get new ones. He is going minutes. back home? No. He did not go home. He wants to get it around here. Okay? Just calm down. Calm you better down. Get chair fast. You better get chair fast. Because I'm running out of patience. Calm down. Think of a school where a secret wedding can be held? I'm sorry, madam. We have more than 70 schools in this very town. Honestly, I don't know actually where the, where the wedding is taking place, madam. Hey, hey. Yes, Jane, any information? Yes, where are you, mom? I'm still searching. You won't believe it. I've not seen anything. Really? See, mom, I finally know when they are doing the secret marriage. You do? Mom, just go straight to Queen's College. I'll be there very soon. I'm waiting for a text, okay? I will join you there soon. Just go straight to that place now. Driver, do you know where Queen's College is? That's almost 20 kilometers from here, madam. And there's traffic on the road. Listen, I don't care if there are roadblocks. You can find a shortcut to that place. Please speed. I am in a hurry, okay? okay. Just hurry up. Damn it, damn it. All right. They thought they could get away with it. No, 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 not on your lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tony, take this ring and give it to your bride. And repeat after me. Sophia. Sophia. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. To keep and to cherish. To keep and to cherish. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. God put your hands together. <laughs> now Sophia. Take and give to your ring. And repeat after me. Tony. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. To keep and to cherish. To keep and to cherish. Forever. Forever. Amen. 
I said, said, sorry, you are not allowed here. Please, they need to step out of this place. I want to embarrass you. I will not be embarrassed. Thank you very much. And then, back out. It's bad a while more. I'm waiting. I will stand here and wait. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I declare you husband and wife. <laughs> Fighting. Let's slow this fighting. If only this love could be left to grow. I've seen lots of people tie their knots even only because of their bond. So let us hold on strong. Cause love always wins it all. Just wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go, go. Go, go. Ah! You want to go back to me? Ah! Go, go, go.
of here. Feel free, go ahead. It's been long I went to see my parents at the village. I'd really love to go this weekend. It's fine. I don't have a problem with you going to see your parents. For as long as you don't belong. Yeah. I know how lonely it is out here when you want to go home. Yeah, I know. Two weeks. Just two weeks. Okay. For that job I have with UNICEF, I would have said we go together. It's okay, I'm going to go. Alright? Can we sleep now? Yeah. Come on. Ah. You'll be fine. Are you trying to tell me you don't understand the level of witchcraft those people are Asian people? In 2009? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. If your wife is missing her mom like she said you, she told you, the best thing is just to invite the mom over. Simple. Rather than letting her go all that way. <laughs> Great. Let's just cut the conversation, alright? Because it's, it's useless. She's already traveled. What are we discussing? It's okay. I'm just being concerned. <laughs> By the way, I forgot. Here, let's go through it and tell me what we think. That's a minute.
Why are you staring at me? Aren't you going to give your mother a welcome hug? Did I not tell you? Did I not warn you that whenever you come into my house you need to notify me? You mean I have to notify you before coming to your house? I actually have to write an application letter to come and see my own son? Yes! Yes! Are you not the one that cursed my marriage? Are you not the one that said you want to make it miserable for me? Are you not the one? So I need to be prepared for all your nonsenses and your troubles when you walk in this house. Notify me! You know what? You can say all the rubbish you like. I don't care. The important thing is that I know what your problem is and I am here to solve it. That's a lie. You know nothing about my problems. And even if you did, you're the last person I'll come and see. You'll be the good mother. Simple. Her name is Juliet, and um, her bride price is already been paid. She's your new bride. So why don't you just give her a sweet smile? Now well, listen to me, young woman. I am a married man. I have a wife. And her name is Sophia. I can never be with you. Now you must. You better take your so-called pride and get out of my house before I do something that you'll regret it, both of you, because you don't know me. Get out. I don't care what her is you're saying, all right? All I know is that Juliet and I are here to stay, and there's nothing you can do about it. Look, Juliet, most other women would tell you to stand with one leg. I, Madam Bacchus, I'm telling you to stand with on the ground. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> what he has as a wife is a man. And too many, you know, my darling, cannot live in the same house. So just relax and maybe you should get in something to eat. Okay. Good idea. of you slipping in the room with you standing with me. What's the problem? My mother stinks, man. She sucks. Okay, what happened? What happened? I got home from work yesterday. Only for me to see my mother. And she's brought some girl. In the village, she's paid the girl's bride price. And she's brought the girl to be my new bride. Can you imagine? What? Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hey. Well, you can't be serious. Hmm? Has it gotten to this level? You know, she, she's, she's come to live with me in my house. Without even asking my permission, she just looked around, got one room. Told the girl to stay. It's crazy. See what I told you? Might not be vindicated now. I believe if Sophia was around, your mom wouldn't have the audacity to bring another woman into the house. So what are you gonna do now? Are you planning? I don't know. I don't know. You know my, my head is so full. You know, I'm just going to just ignore that. Just ignore them. Ignore? You don't ignore such thing. Just send the girl back in. You've got to send her away before she gains ground in the house and begins to insult your wife when she comes back. I agree. Totally agree with you. But my mom, she's going to live in my house. Yeah. Look, wait, my mind is just messed up thinking about Sophia. I have to many things in my mind. I'm just going to ignore her. I think that's what I'll do. 
Man, I don't understand. Your mom lives with you right now in the house. Yes. As crazy as it sounds. She lives in my house with the girl. She's come that's gonna live in the house. She's locked up her own. junk when I am here. It's not right at all. Anyway, sweetheart, you need to see the wonderful meal I have just prepared for my wonderful husband. <laughs> I know you like the food. Is it that you are blind? Is it that you are blind? Or you are just a moron that you cannot see that you are not wanted here? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Stop this now. And stop fooling around. And I beg you, in the name of whatever you hold sacred, don't call me love, sweetheart, honey, or whatever. I don't know you and I don't want to know you. Take it out. What is wrong with you? You're a very wicked man. Very wicked. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, 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 say. I see that. I've been trying to call you all day. What's happening? No luck. I'm very sorry, my love. My talk is really bad. Now, guess what? I'm actually sitting down on my father's old pad trying to grab my talk. I'm going to be surprised if the line cuts up. Okay, I see. This house has been hell since you left. I'm sorry. But not to worry, I'm going back home tomorrow. You come back tomorrow? Awesome! Awesome! I can't wait to see your face once again, your beautiful face of yours. Well, my flight is for 3 o'clock. Are you picking me up? Sure. 3 o'clock, you say? I, I should be around the airport about that time. So once the plane lands, just call me about 3 o'clock. I can't pick you up. Shouldn't be a problem. I love you. I love you too. See you tomorrow. Okay. You're such a wicked man. Very wicked. I've been sweating myself all day in the kitchen just to prepare your favorite meal. And what do I get? And you don't want to eat? That's what you get. I should. Yeah, 
Ah, hier, 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 okay. and she's nowhere to be found. Why didn't you call her on the phone? I've been calling her since, a million times already. And I'm getting very, very worried. The phone is off. This is a serious matter. So what are we going to do about that? Are you sure it was her mom who spoke to you? Fred, please. Don't I know the voice of my mother-in-law anymore? I spoke to her and she, she said yes. Sophia was leaving today as she and I agreed that she would leave. I even spoke to the driver that took her from the village to the airport. I don't know what is going on, man. This is becoming confusing, man. I don't know where else she could be. She's not in your house and she's not in the village with her mom. She's not with her friend that you call. And there was no plane crash and no accident, so... Not that I know of. No, because if there was, if there is any accident, they would have announced it. I don't want to do any noise. What is going on? How did she disappear? Mommy, I can't stay here any longer. I can't. I just have to go. Because I've done everything I could do as a human being. Still, it's not just working. He doesn't even care if I exist or not. He, he doesn't even see the woman in me. Don't tell me you're giving up so easily. His wife has been gone for so long. This is an opportunity for you to use the woman in you to seduce him. Mommy, I have tried everything. I've tried everything. You need to see what he did to me the other day. He almost injured me. If, if not by the saving grace. In short, I just have to say this. I'm sorry to say it. Well, your son is a very wicked man. No, no, no. Oh, I totally disagree with you. My son is just an extremist. Everything he does, he takes to an extreme. I'll tell you what to do. Just follow him bumper to bumper. And before you know it, you will get what you want. So... Oh, hello. Do you see what he did to me now? Do you see what he did to me? What kind of a man is this? It's okay. He's just been like his father. His father used to be like that. All right? See, all you have to do is take charge. You're the wife of this house. Get up and take charge of your home. Okay? You will take charge of anything because I've tried everything I can. What was what, all this? Is it when I kill myself? I just have to go. Take care of you. 
You cannot swear with anything that you know. You cannot vouch with whatever you know that you have an idea of what being a good woman is all about. You have no idea. And I don't understand why you're wasting your time fooling around in another woman's matrimonial home. Are you silly or you just can't think? Honey, I'm not wasting my time on you, sir. I am the best woman for you. Huh? I am a complete woman. A complete woman that is so, so different from that your so-called wife that absconded because she could not get you a child. Ah! Ah! Tony! Hi! What, what did you do that for? I should be asking you that. I should be asking you why the hell you brought her into my house. Why did you bring her here? Because she knows nothing about being a good woman. You smuggled her into this house. And she has the guts to open her mouth and call my wife. Baron? Kill her. I'm telling you, I will kill her one day. That is not possible. And you should never, ever raise your hand against your wife. This woman is here to take care of your home. So treat her like a lady. Like Cassie, or whatever you call yourself. That's what I am. My wife has been missing for the past three weeks. And that has been my only concern. If you're not concerned, I am. Now this thing, that you want to shove down my throat, you want to bring into my mouth. I don't want it. Not now, not ever. I don't want her. All you would want is because that your wife disappeared because she knows the truth. And the truth is that she's been barren from the day she was born. And she knows it. She was never pregnant. She's not pregnant now. She was using the accident as an excuse. And but, let me, let me tell you something. Pushing. pushing you what she is hopeless. You want to stop it, you're pushing me. Ah! Stop it! But not to slap me, right? Okay, slap me! Slap me! Go ahead and beat me up! If that is what you want to do, Johnny, beat me up! But I've told you what is going on here! Alright? I have told you, forget that your nonsense wife and marry this fatal young woman I found for you! Fatal, noble, beautiful, God-fearing, oh God! The woman that I chose for my church! The head of the fire group! When she sings the oh, oh the heavens open, you have to sing for him, let him hear your voice. Let him hear you sing, and I'm sure you will catch your his heart. Please do that for me, Father. It's okay. I know you're regretting, Father. But you don't have to regret anything, you know. My son will eventually change. He would love you. Nothing good comes easy. Yes, what's it? Oh yes, it's for Tony. Okay. Tony Thank you.
That is why I decided to walk away. There's no mean staying when I can't have children for you. Like your mother said, I don't want to be responsible for the end of your father's lineage. I understand you now have a new wife. Just be with her. And think less of me. I'm okay. I'm very okay where I am. Don't bother looking for me. I will always love you. Always. Yes, Eva. Sophia. No, I, I can't believe this. How could she do a thing like that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she would do that. Have you spoken to her mom about it? I mean, have you told her about this decision she made? I think it's her own decision. She, she didn't tell her mother about it. So my mother doesn't know about it. Do this to me. Why would she do this to me? It's not fair. You know, it's not fair. I chose to marry her regardless of the situation. I still married. She didn't even consider my feelings. It's not right. It's not right. It's just not right. Just brace yourself up, okay? Be the man. At least, the most important thing now is that we know she's alive. And from what she wrote in this letter, that if she's okay where she is. If she's alive, how, how does that help me that she's alive? She's not here. She's not here. That is what is important to me. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, man. You don't have to cry. Don't have to cry, please. Green is the color of life. And life remains the most beautiful thing on earth. It has come to my knowledge that a tree can never make a forest. He has not managed to appreciate the woman in me because he has refused to look. But tonight is the night he must look. He must look and must see what is beyond the feminine beauty in me and the show of ecstatics.
have this good feeling that today will be a fantastic day at work. Really? Yes. And you won the million. And I want to thank you for opening my eyes because I was once blind. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now that it happens, also. Well, well, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. I am going to buy her a special case. That's oh. what I'm going to do. And use that to apologize to you for all the wrong things I've done. Mm -hmm. Because Juliet is more than a woman. And I have a plan that I'm going to start a new life with her. Start afresh! <laughs> Get it going! <laughs> so, where, where did the all this? And then, mommy, you know he said he has a business to catch up with. And he's running it. So let's just allow him to go to work. When he comes back, we can finish the discussion. Okay? Okay. You heard her. Yeah. That's my Juliet. Okay. Second to none. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you, Bob. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. of me yesterday <laughs> and I guess he enjoyed himself. Is that really how it happened? What is your problem, Madam Bukasi? Huh? So what are you insinuating? Did you? Did you just call me Madam Bakasi? And did you just ask me what I'm insinuating? Uh -huh. Is that not your name? Is Madam Bakasi not your name? Huh? Look, you just have to go back to your husband's house. This is my husband's house. I am married to your son. So stop putting a son down. Me. Wait. I put a son down. Look at this girl. Hey! Point of correction, Madam Bakasi. I am not a girl. I am your son's wife. So accord me some respect. Which wife? Hey, your almighty wife that will bear you lovely and beautiful grandchildren. Aha. You pay my bride price now. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now will you go in the packet things and get out of this house? Ah, you lie, Madame Bakasi. You lie in your dreams. If we're looking for who is going to go in there to pack her things, it is going to be you. I will not allow anybody, anybody to order me around, not even you. This is my husband's house. So you, go back to your husband's house. So go in there, pack those miserable things of yours and leave this place and run your supermarket. Stop poking your nose into something that doesn't concern you. This is my husband's house. Go back to yours. <laughs> you think I'm still here? Huh? I am not. Oh. I am not. You have met your match. Try me. Try me. Madam Bakasi. She has touched the light. Did I hear you right? Are you out of your mind? Come on, what's wrong with you? You don't know what I'm going through. You have no idea what I'm experiencing. This lady puts up an astonishing performance in bed. And you need to experience it your own But it's it's amazing. It's it's just it's out of this world, man. I'm telling you, you need to experience to know what I'm talking about. She's good. Do you realize the shit you're getting into? Do you realize that? What about Sophia, your wife? What about Sophia? She abandoned me. So? She abandoned me. She left. Didn't you read the letter? So? Did you not read it? And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy the way things just turned out. 
you know, that my mother found Juliet? It brings to mind. You know, I... I, I Ladies I, I, and gentlemen, I love you. I Hello, Bob. Hi. I, I was just talking to Fred right now, letting him know uh, how I feel indebted to you because uh, you found Juliet for me. It's crazy, right? Now, listen to me, too. I don't feel comfortable with that girl. I want her out of this house. Mother, please don't just let me get angry for nothing. Will you listen to me, Tony? And stop heading for the deep end. I was the one that brought that girl into your life. And I am telling you that she's not good enough for you. Now, Mother, you listen to me. I don't care if you found Juliet for me or not. I like her and I want to be with her and I will marry her. You cannot come between Juliet and myself. If you don't like her, you go. You leave the house. Because I will be with her. You know what? You even wasted my time. Bye bye. Can you imagine? Can't you see? Isn't it crystal clear to you that all is not well about this whole shit you're getting into? Isn't it? Even your mom, who found the girl, the so called Juliet for you, is now against her. Think. Listen, Fred. I love Julia, and there is nothing that can change it. For me, right now, you are wasting my time. See you later, man. What's the test result? An abnormal parasite in your blood is on the high side, and it's very significant. I'm sure that's the reason why you fell asleep while right driving. Well, I don't know, but it happened four times. I just found myself nodding when I reached that. I almost knocked someone down in the express room. So I just decided to launch in here to find out what's wrong. But what can I do now? Well, you have two options here. It's either you forget about your trip and get my parasite treated, or you engage inside of the driver without driving. Doctor! The patient in the floor, she has to have a little She has been muttering, Tony, 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 Tony. Please, could you come and see her? Old farmers. Wow. Uh, we also found out that uh, she is pregnant, and uh, we are doing our best to make sure that the baby is not affected. Wow! This is good news. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Oh, don't be so excited to hear this. You know what? I'm going to stay back.
The best thing we do is just off this one. That is not the instruction. Why are you still talking of instructions here? I mean, this is the third week we've kept this woman here. I can't take 200,000 naira and stay in this god for second place. Let's end that and go. I mean, let's get out. Do you know what? Close this topic. I don't want to hear it again. We agreed to keep her for one month and we charge 200,000 naira. The money has been paid, so we are not going to renege from the contract. Have you gone nuts? Let your idea come to me. Hello, Fred. What's up? Hey, Tony. I have good news for you. The confusion is over now. Good news? I, I, I just like good news. Go ahead. What's happened? I have found your wife. Found a wife? <laughs> my wife is at home waiting for me to get back. What are you talking about? You found my wife. Guy, I'm saying I have found Sophia, your wife, and she's pregnant for you. Now, Fred, you listen to me carefully. Carefully. I don't know what kind of games you're trying to play, but I'm not interested in any of those games. Please. Ever since I've been with Juliet, I have been happy. Peace has reigned. As my friend, please let that peace reign. 
don't bring about any disorder. Please. Listen to me, Tony. What I'm saying is that. Hello? Sophia anymore, your wife? What are you calling my wife? Huh? Friend. You're my friend. Don't come and spoil things. I don't appreciate you walking into my house and disturbing my peace. As you can see, I'm, I'm having quality time here. I don't need it. My love, you've been bewitched. Excuse the hell out of me. Just hey, shut up, okay? Hey, you what, what, you shut up! Fred, this is my house! Sweetie, sit down, okay? Don't worry. You shut up, Fred. Okay? You can't come to my house and tell me, tell somebody to shut up. Because this is my house. I decide who shuts up and who speaks. And when? Now, you listen to me. You pretend that. You wrote me that curse letter, didn't you? So, what are you doing here? What do you want? Tony, if you just let me explain, okay? She was kidnapped by some hoodlums. She managed to escape, all right? Can't you just realize that this is your wife, Sophia, and that she's pregnant for you even as we speak? Oh, she's pregnant for you, Fred. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? She's pregnant for you. I beg your pardon? It's not my pregnancy. I beg your pardon. Excuse okay. you. Don't think I can be deceived when you come and tell me that uh, she's pregnant. Now I see that all the things you said to me on the phone is clicking. And none of it makes sense to me. I get it now. I know what is what is wrong with you. Listen to me, Tony. I think you should open your eyes and see. Open your eyes and realize that you are sinking deep into abyss. And it might be too late before you realize it. Open your eyes. Fred, this is the last time I'm going to say this. Take your girlfriend. And the pregnancy. Take it. Go and nurture your own pregnancy because it is not mine. Leave my house. We are friends, I understand that. But leave my house. Go before I make you. Well, before we make you. Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go. It's okay. Go. Go, Fred. Don't come back. Let's go. Don't worry, Fred, 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 Fred,
What do you want in this house? I don't have time. I don't have time. Come on. Well, to me. I am back to the Russian army. And I will not move an inch out of this house. I see. Fine. You want to stay? As you can see, we are on our way out. You want to stay? You do whatever. Will you come? <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> happening? You! Why on earth did you allow this witch to spend the night in this house? Eh? Oh yeah, just tell her to just give me my car keys now! Can you please tell her this is my car? It's okay. Um, give me. Sorry, this is my car. <laughs> we registered it together. Mm. Oh, no, you just give me the car key. Oh yeah, now. Just give me. No more fights. Tell her to come down from my car. Come down. Sophia, come down. Come down. Calm down. Sorry. It's okay. Come down. What's your set now? You want to take a taxi? Sidney! Get a taxi! Mommy, let me go. Please, sweetheart. 
No fight. Imagine the audacity and come. Ito, ito. You, you, you come to my own house to fight over my own car. Ha! How possible? Suggest you go back to Madame Bakasi, Tony Small, and stay with her. I believe now that the girl she brought for Tony to marry is even against her, and she's against the girl. I believe she will know how valuable you are now. She will appreciate you the more. She will treat you like a mother now and take care of you in more time. I'm sorry. I can't go to Madame Bakasi. She is the genesis of all my misfortunes. I can't imagine myself seeking refuge under her roof. I can't. Well, it's okay. You can stay here. This whole big place. Yeah, you can stay. Because I don't want you to go back to that house. Tony and that witch of the girl might just conspire one day and beat you up and cause you damages. It's not right. Okay? Thank you very much. But I am not going to leave my matrimonial home because of a witch. I will not move out because of her. I can't. I serve a living God. And never abandon this people. I will not leave my home because of her. I can't.
how are you? Uh, who is your mother? Okay. One of the bottled waters there. I don't want her dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do not want her dead. All I want you to do is to hold her and force her to write a letter to her husband telling him she's no more interested in the marriage and that he should go ahead and marry whoever the mother has brought for him to marry. You can now force her to write any other thing that will make the husband turn away from her. All right? Here, here's the balance of your money. Please put it away, you never know who's around. Madam, you can always come for me. A deal is a deal. It had better be a deal, because the person that recommended you, recommended you highly. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Just strike a deal. I have to go. You need to go. You're not talking. What is the problem? You brought me out here by this time of the night, and you don't want to say anything? Yeah, Yawa Dongas. Yawa Dongas. What do you mean, Yawa Dongas? Madam, you get on that. What happened? Madam, mistake on part of one of my colleagues. Thank you. Oh, God. I told you I did not want her dead. I didn't ask for that. Let me put her. I don't know. I have. Never met you. I... My daughter. Please. Forgive me. No, no, no. Mom, please. No, no. Please. God. I'm sorry. I did not tell them to have you. When they told me you were dead, I just... I didn't know what to do. I am the cause of all your predicaments. And now you're finally pregnant for my son. I've, I've sent a Jezebel into his life. God, oh Jesus. Okay. I'm wicked. I'm a wicked woman. I agree. Okay. You are his only mother. And I am his wife. We need to come together to get him out of the hands of that wicked woman. Please, Sophia. You're a good woman. You're a good wife. How can you put up with me? Eh? How? Oh. I forgive you. I do. But God will bless you. He will bless this baby you're carrying. You will have goodness all through your life. Hey. Oh. Jehovah. Jehovah, forgive me. Forgive a sinner. <laughs> Mortals have alleged that the love of money is the root of all evil. That is fallacy. Everything is possible with money. Money makes the world go round. I have come to stay and I need money to start. Saturate this whole house with the breeze of obedience. I am going to ask and he must obey.
want you to write me a check of 50 million naira. What are you doing with 50 million naira? Don't ask me silly questions. Get up from there, get your checkbook, and write me the check. talking about um, going to church last night. I didn't really get you. My mother said you're a member of her church. Now why would you say something like that? Why would you say something that concerns the church as being rubbish? Isn't that a contradiction? Well, um, I'm sorry for saying that. So what were you saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was just thinking that... Uh, I should start going to church, you know, at least every Sunday. Because ever since Sophia left, I've never been to church. I don't think that's right. I need to revive my church life, you know, start going to church again. Okay, no problem. Since that's what you want, no problem.
than a locust out. I'm going to tell them that there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, thou ancient of days, we call on your power. Descend with your mighty power, Lord. And set the captive free. Amen. Come and set the captive free. Amen. Release him in the name of Jesus. Amen. I come against you. Release him. God, lose him. Let the captive be set free. Amen. Set him free. Set him free. Set him free in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, come down in your power. And set him free. Set Tony free, Lord. Let him be free. Let him be free. Let him be free. Now, demonic spirits that have been tormenting Tony, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Leave him alone and be gone. I command you to go. 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 Go to the side of me. I pass you to leave him in the name of Jesus. Be gone in Jesus' name. Be gone in Jesus' name. What are you still doing? What kind of stupid question is that? I'm your wife. No. Where's Sophia? Where's Sophia? Sophia! Sophia! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. There are strangers in this house. And I have a feeling that a strange occupation is imminent. Please manifest yourself to me. I have to stop the strangers. I have to stop these intruders. Please manifest. This is my house and I am not moving an inch. Please manifest. Manifest. Please manifest. Jesus, leave this place. Uh, Be gone in Jesus' name. Uh, 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 I come against you in the name of Jesus. Be gone unto the Thanos. Be gone in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Be gone. Go and never come back. Live in the name of Jesus. 
You to know that we didn't just come in here to try our luck. Mm. We at this is finances have been monitoring your company for months and our findings are impressive. So, mm. good, good. Um, yeah, like I said earlier on, I'm, I'm sure we can do something together. We, we, we can work something out, uh, but I'll just ask for a little more time. You know, let me just do a little investigation. What let me use the right word, let me just. Consult a few people, you know, and then I'll get back to you, right? Okay, we have so. all the time, John. Right. Uh, we'll come back in say two weeks yes. from now. No problem. By then, you must have to settle the work. Nevertheless, Hopefully. if you want to ask any questions, you can come with Okay, no problem. Disturbing yourself over nothing. The lady you saw means nothing to me. It's, it's not about what you saw or what you didn't see. I have never been unfaithful to you, and I'm not ready to stop. It. The lady you saw, her name is Sam. She works for Daisy's finances. She came here to sell a product, market a product, that's all. So, are you going to hug a woman in the name of marketing? Lots of marriages have broken down. I've been threatened, destroyed, because one woman from nowhere. Give me a little more credit. Okay? I was just being nice. That's all. Come on. See, you must be careful of little foxes that are into this unacceptable business of destroying vineyards. What do you mean little foxes? There are no foxes anywhere. Tony now keeps late nights. And that is because his business has grown. 
Besides, he virtually does everything. So, the said Sandra, like Tony told you, is a marketer from a financial institution. So, I just feel you should trust your husband. I'm not arguing if she's a marketer or not. She can be a marketer or a trader for all I care. All I am saying is that I smell the rats. How could you forget me today cast story so soon? She kept on telling us, hmm, hmm, I smell the rats. And we kept up saying, oh, stop smelling, stop smelling. But she kept on smelling the rats. And later on, what happened? She was vindicated. I am smelling my own rats now. Something is wrong. See, Sophia, you have to stop comparing your husband with Njideka's husband. If you see a man who is a Casanova, or even has tendency of becoming one, you will know. Your husband is a very nice person. Okay, so I just feel you should trust him. Please, seriously. It's been beautiful. I'm 
Is this really my the, the food I served you? Yes. Wonderful food. I like it. Really? It looks different, like it looks as if it's not like I don't know. <laughs> yes, let us not mind because I'm already eating the food and I'm enjoying the food. Great. I like this food. You said it's the best. You said it's the best. <laughs> Sophie, if someone called me and told me that you don't trust me, I would never believe it. I do trust you, man. I do. But our home is a human home. We will have to do everything humanly possible to ensure that we are on the right path. That is exactly what I've been doing. Staying on the path of progress. I mean, the bank saw me. They came to me. They know what I'm doing is good. And they decided to give me a loan of half a billion now. Yes. I just need you to understand that, sweetie. Must you collect that loan? Yes, sweetie. Don't you want me to take the loan? I'm not trying to override your decisions. My love, you have run that company for years without loan from anybody. Why now? Because it can turn the company into something else. It will put me on a different pedestal against my colleagues. It could even turn the company into a multinational. Like I said, I didn't go chasing them. They came after me because they know I'm good at what I do. They give me the money, and now better still, they even give me someone to monitor our spending just to bring about effectiveness. That is my problem. That is what I'm not comfortable with. Like, what is your business, how efficient or effective the company is? What's their business? I know. You can't imagine people go through just to qualify for a loan in a bank. But then in your case, the bank comes after you and offers you half a billion naira. I am not comfortable with the news, the beer, and everything about it. I would know, really appreciate it if you could stop any form of negotiations you're making with them. Please. What is wrong? Put yourself in their shoes. If you're giving somebody money, the inside to monitor it, what is wrong with it? The bank has given me money and given me someone to monitor the money. What is wrong with it? to misconstrue my purpose here. I don't want it to look as if I'm burgeoning into your family affair. Okay? But the truth is that this one actually concerns me because it has to do with business. If you will agree with me, very few company or business will survive 
without financial assistance from banks or maybe any financial institution. I believe you know that. Yes, I do agree with you. But Tony's business has survived by itself without a loan from anybody. Why now? Why? I am not comfortable with the company agents that I caught up embracing my husband. I'm not comfortable with her. Okay, I think I'm beginning to get the picture now. Would that be right to say that, okay, your challenge is not really with Tony collecting the loan, but probably with the agent that brought the offer, right? Probably, yes. I mean, how can we all forget so soon what happened to Jideka? How can you both forget? A noble woman, somebody she trusted so much, was the person who finally bewitched her husband and took him away from her. Until now, she has not gotten over the shock. I don't want my family to remember so. Well, it's okay. I, I understand now. I understand you perfectly well. I will discuss intensively with Tony, okay? I will discuss with him and see what we will come up with. Right, and I will get back to you. But Sophia, I want you to understand one truth. Tony, your husband, is a very responsible man. He's an honorable man. And he sees you as the best woman in the world. I can vouch for him that he will not do anything that will jeopardize your happiness. I want you to know this truth. Today. That's what your wife told me. And I'm sure that's what everybody told him to take her to when she first started smelling a rat. Please, I don't want anyone to destroy my marriage. That loan that wants to destroy my marriage should please go. <laughs> it's alright. Problem. It will be something out. Okay? Just don't be. Everything will go out loud, alright? I'll be on my way now. Thank you so much for me. Alright. Okay. Impressive, I must say. Thank you, sir. But Sandra, I cannot just come to times with approving a loan of half a billion to someone who did not apply for loan. Such a fellow may not know how to manage it. I understand, sir, but we have our plans now. Tell me those plans. I have everything written down, sir. Let me hear them. Sir, um, we are going to assign a staff of our company. So at least we need someone who will be going through his records on daily basis. That's the best way to ensure that the loan is well managed. Sir. Have you discussed with the managing director of the company and he agrees that our staff will scrutinize their records on a daily basis? We have discussed with him, sir. He has no problem in that, sir. And um, we've monitored him enough to know he doesn't spend money recklessly. Sir, I'm very, very sure that his company is ideal for the loan. That's good. So what about other businesses I asked you to understudy? Uh, I have the files, yes. Larry, do you know I still cannot believe this? I mean, how could you do a thing like that? Are you telling me that we must talk about this all the time? What's the problem? Why are you complaining because I have someone who is in trouble? Why? Look, Larry, you met a girl on the street. And in the course of your rendering her a lift, you ended up bringing her up. You didn't stop there. You still went ahead to sleep with her. Is that your problem? That I slept with her? Jeremy, is she not a beautiful woman? Why are you making every effort to provoke me? Why? My problem is not that you slept with her. After all, there are women of easy virtue littered and scattered everywhere. So whatever you decide to do with them is entirely your business. Yeah. Let me get it straight. What's your problem? 
No, are you telling me that it has become fundamental offense for me to walk into this bar in the afternoon and drink my beer and go in peace? Is that what they're saying? My problem is that you are now living with that girl in your house. Oh my goodness! Jeremy, are you not the same person that I told that she was stranded? Why are you angry because I help a citizen of this country who is in trouble, who is stranded? Why? Is that not what they say? Help people in trouble, citizens in trouble help them? Is that not what they say? Larry, first is that you don't know if she's a citizen or not. Secondly, you cannot prove whether she was stranded at the time you met her or not. Man, stop digging your own grave. Learn from other men's mistake. That girl is not right for you. Oh, let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. Are you, are you telling me that you send her back into the streets or something? Come on, Jeremy. That lady is someone's sister. She could be your sister, you know? Larry, the only thing you know about that girl is that her name is Juliet. Of course, that's her name, Juliet. Wonderful name. Don't you like Juliet as a name or something? You don't even know her siblings. You don't know her parents. You don't know her surname. You don't even know where she comes out from. Even the last address she gave you, you're not bothered to check it up, have you? Listen, Jeremy, I don't have any business checking up her, her last address. Because I don't need it. Nonsense last address. I don't need nonsense last address. That lady has a new address now. That new address is my house. If anyone is looking for her, that person must come to her new address. My place, my house. Jeremy, why are you doing this? No, why are you asking me to get rid of a lady? Who asked me to be the best lady on earth? Why are you doing this, Jeremy? Listen to me, Jeremy. I am working on her. And she's working on me. The truth is that we are working on ourselves. Listen, I am enjoying what I am doing. And I can bet you that she is equally enjoying the very wonderful time she's having in my company. Can we drink this beer, please? Can we? Larry. Yes. You used to tell me you are the son of your father. Exactly. Sincerely, I am willing to doubt if that is true. Did I tell you the truth, Jeremy? An idiot. What? You call me an idiot for being sincere with you, for telling you the truth? I didn't say idiot, you mean small idiot. I mean to say that you are a very big idiot. Fundamental idiot. Now tell this guy. Idiot. I am a big idiot. No, no, no. I don't have a problem. I'm very comfortable. I just didn't know you would have been the one. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, sir. Thank you very much again. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, Sandra. Nice to meet you. See you guys.
Listen to me, there is one question that you have to answer immediately. Who is the person that you said just left your house? The one you called Juliet. The one you picked from the streets and then lives in your house. Come, are you the one she called her fiance? Jeremy, are you sure you are still okay? As in sound? What do you mean? I am telling you she just left my house, you are asking me if I'm okay. Larry, forget the fact that I deal with you guys. I am not as simple as you think. Really? Let her desist from coming to my house. One has to leave. Why are you attacking me unnecessarily? Why are you making every effort to make me angry this night? Julian is right here beside me. She is lying beside me. We are on bed. How can you say she just left your house? Why are you like this? You must surely be an idiot to think you can pull that kind of joke with me. What do you mean she's there with you? Larry, listen to me. I am moving through the door. If she stands on my way, I'm going to crush her. I swear I will crush her. Tell her that. Baby, can you imagine Jeremy calling me an idiot? That is a movie great, Jeremy. You know, I have only seen that your friend once. And I have never liked him. Jeremy is not my friend. I mean, going by the real meaning of the word friend, Jeremy is not my friend. The relationship is that we both attended the same primary school, not even secondary school, the same primary school or a big central school in our village. The school is still there. We attended the school. And we came to this town only to discover that we are doing the same business. Jeremy is not my friend. Whatever it is, I don't want to ever see him in this house again. Certainly. Is that why you are very angry? Because of Jeremy. Jeremy is an idiot. As soon as I set my eyes on Jeremy tomorrow morning, I am going to pass that information to the Jeremy must not come to this house again. Who is Jeremy? Jeremy is not going no, Jerry, no more, yeah? That's my God. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know when you started behaving this way. And I don't want to believe that you are the one telling Sophia to be suspicious of her husband. Honey, I never said anything like that. So what, what did you say? All I told her was that her husband is a very honorable man and then she should try to trust him. Then why were you snooping around asking after the loan as if you had any affiliation with the business? Honey, you're still not getting me. Sophia communicated her position to her husband. She wasn't comfortable with him taking the loan. So why did he still go ahead and take the loan even without... I told him to take the loan. Yes, I encouraged him to take it because he needs it. Tony's business needs that loan to survive. And every other business does. Honey, I agree with you. Listen, listen, let me let me let me clarify you, she said. You cannot discourage a man from collecting a loan that is gonna boost his business, put his business into the next level, just because of some flimsy uh, 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 excuses. It doesn't make sense. So I told him to take the loan. Honey, I agree with you completely. But I still have a problem that he did not discuss extensively with his wife before going ahead to take the loan. Why? He should have at least talked to his wife. Who told you he did not discuss with the wife? He spoke with her extensively, but Sophia wouldn't budge. I even had to come in. I tried to convince Sophia, but she wouldn't, she, she wouldn't agree. She was giving me excuses about Njideka's uh, marriage that crashed for whatsoever reason. Look, a businessman that needs money does not rely on such nonsense to survive, okay? 
So I had to tell him to go ahead and take the loan. It's best for him. You know what? What? I am disappointed in you. Disappointed about what? I am disappointed that you, ha, huh, Fred, that you of all people could encourage your friend to disobey his wife? Sweetheart, I did not advise him to disobey his wife. I encouraged him to do the right thing. That's all. Taking the loan was the right thing for his company. Come on, what are we talking about here? The guy has collected the loan and his business is booming now. Enter a testimony to it. Enter a witness to that. Is he not making progress now? What are we talking about here? Look, this is okay. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want this discussion anymore. Please, I'm hungry. We're discussing something very important and the next thing you're talking about is food. We are done with the matter. So won't I eat again? You told me dinner was going to be ready very soon. I'm hungry now. You know I just came in. Sandra, can we continue this conversation tomorrow because I'm getting sleepy and I know it's late. You're already going to sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sir. There are some things I really need us to talk about right now. What issues? I saw the proposal you sent to the ABC Chemical Limited. I'm not comfortable with some things there. Sorry. What aren't you comfortable with? Why? Mr. Odogo, my company granted you the loan because we want you to make money. I was appointed as a monitoring officer simply because we can't afford to see you make mistakes. Ah, uh, I really want to see the proposals you're sending out and the conditions attached to them. That shouldn't be a problem. I can tell you right away that it can never be a problem. From now onwards, whatever proposal going in or coming out of this company, you will know. We will run it by you. Yes. That's okay. I'll let you sleep now. Uh, please, when you get to the office tomorrow, you call me. There's this um, import company was said, please. You're financing as well. I want you to meet their head of logistics. I'm sure you have business to do with them. Okay, that would be nice. I can't wait to meet those people. You know, hey, Sandra. I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. You know, you've been good. You're the best thing that has happened to me. And I feel indebted to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful. Good night, Sandra. Bye. Jeremy, I am not going to stand here forever. I have an important business to catch by 11. So, can I just go now? You cannot go. Huh? That business can wait. Larry, you have to listen to me because I smell danger. What danger? If you were telling me the truth that that girl was lying right beside you when you were answering my call, then you have to do everything within your powers. I mean, everything possible to get rid of that girl. Send her out of your house because I put that call across the very moment she left my presence. Do you, know, do, you know, do you know I don't know why you are shouting? I can bet you with all the things I have that you don't know the person you saw. Are you listening to me? You don't know the person you saw. Larry, that girl must be something else to have the past to be at two different places at the same time. She was the one who came to warn me to stay off her pants. And I am telling you, Jeremy, I am telling you right away that it was not Juliet that came to warn you. Listen to me. She was lying right beside me when I took your call. She can't be the person that came to warn you. Are you telling me that you don't know that I have too many women in my life? It is possible that any of, any of these too many women came to warn you that night. It can't just be Juliet. It cannot be Juliet. Jeremy, can't you just get this? Larry, are you trying to tell me I don't know Juliet anymore? Of course. You don't know her. No, you don't. 
Okay, fine. Let's let's not go into all that now. Let's not go into all that. Please, now, answer me as a friend. This Juliet girl you picked from the street, is it proposed to her? Yeah, just give me a yes or no answer. I think she want to see you. Why are you provoking me? Now you want me to answer you yes or no? You want to reduce this? And no? Is there any judge sitting? Is there any judge here? Why was it the yes or no? Do you know what? You shake out history. I mean international history, not all this local history. People are keeping around you. I'm talking of international history. You will discover that international history is strictly men who found wonderful women along the streets and married them. And they turned around to be angels. They actually recreated their lives. I want you to go back to your office, Jeremy, and do some business for yourself. Stop poking into what doesn't concern you. You're not a book master. Or are you suddenly a book master, Jeremy? Please. Why is this man trying to dare me? Why? Why is he playing with death? Politicians who embrace over a hundred women just in one day. I don't have a problem with the embrace either. So what is it? He said he didn't want her to ever get angry. Because if she ever did get angry, it would be a huge problem for him. He said that. Why would I come here to lie to you? He also said she was wonderful and she was the best thing that ever happened to him. How could you ever possibly say that to a woman? I mean another woman. Continue to take good care of my grandson. I will handle it, okay? okay? We cannot afford to make any mistakes. So, so, I bought that drink for you and you've not touched it. Now, can you please take your glass? Have a sip. Come on, for me or else I'm not going to handle the situation. Cheers. Sophia came in and alerted that I'm into women. Is that why you asked me to drop whatever I was doing to be here so you talk to me about this? You know, the way you sounded lays credence to her fears. Don't do, do you care about how the poor girl feels? She has no reason to have any negative feeling. She is the one who has developed into this busybody person. I don't even know what is happening. Who is Sandra? Oh, she told you about Sandra? Yes, she did. Who is she? I can't even Sandra is the girl that works with Daisy's finances. She's been appointed as my monitoring officer, period. Oh, and I hope Sophia also told you it's the same company that gave me 300 million naira to facilitate my, my business. So because she's the one monitoring your account, you, you, you have the nerve to tell her she's the best thing that happened to you? You know what, Mom? I have things to do. Will you stop that? The love of money is the root of all evil. So says the Bible, and I also believe in that. Now the fact that some stupid girl helped you to get some kind of loan from my company does not mean you, you have to, to turn your back on your poor wife. That girl gave you a son. 
and you better look after them or else your son will grow up to hate you. I've seen it happen a lot of times and I would not want it to happen to my own son. Mother, I think this conversation is a waste of time because I don't intend to turn my back on Sophie. Not today, not tomorrow. I am a good person here. You have a funny way of showing it. Oh God! What's going on here? Love is sweet, love is strong, they say. But a face when you look, then you leap, then you can't find a feeling. It's a terrible world, full of mystery, full of mystery. So let's watch. Mr. Kun? Sir. I call you to know your corporate impression of Sandra. I, 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 I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand what you mean by corporate impression. Well, Sandra walked into my office this morning with a memo. If you will remember, we agreed to release the sum of 300 million to Tony Odogu and company and monitor their business for three months to see if they are qualified for an additional loan of 200 million. Now we have not monitored them for more than five weeks. Why would Sandra want me to release this, the remaining balance? when we are still monitoring the one we released. Uh, sir, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Sandra is the only uh, officer monitoring that company. Uh, 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 she's the only person that can say when and why the money should be released to the company before the agreed date. I understand the managing director of that company is good looking. Are you sure Sandra has not gone unethical? and is now emotionally attached to that man? Oh no, sir. Uh, if you assume such, uh, you undermine Sandra's person. She's too corporate, too efficient driven to uh, emotionally attach herself to some company just because the uh, MD is good looking. So why would she want me to release the remaining balance when we are still monitoring the one we released? I don't know, sir. Sandra is the only person that should answer that question. Moreover, she's uh, a decisive uh, financial expert of this company. Sir, I don't think Sandra, honestly, Sandra cannot wrongly advise this company.
Listen, you have just 10 minutes to leave this house on your own, or I'm going to kill you and bury you here in this compound. In this compound. Can I like, have you to explain? Hmm? Can I So, you want me to leave your house after you have proposed to me? I don't want to do anything with you. Something is wrong with you and you cannot get me. Just leave on your own. And you need to give me the You know why? Listen to me, I said I don't want to do anything with you. Mm. Are you living on your own? Or do you want me to show you something that is right here and evil? Do you? I will pay you back! that Juliet is an evil girl. Extremely evil. I got back to my house and I heard wishes singing. Crystal clear, I heard wishes singing. And you won't believe this. I actually caught Juliet dancing what I can conveniently call dance of death. Jesus, right? But I've always told you the truth. I've always known this. And I confirmed it the very day you told me she was lying on your bed. Because it was not up to a minute she left my house. I called you and you told me she was lying right beside me. So how could she have left my house immediately and got into your place and was already lying on your bed? Jeremy, believe you me when I say she was lying on my bed. She was actually lying there that night you called me. I was bewitched by her charisma and chemistry. By her physique. Do you know that after I ordered her to leave my house, I was peeping through the window. Then I saw her transform into something and then she vanished. Jesus Christ. What? I saw her vanish. As I sit here with you now, Jeremy, I am afraid of going back to the house. She disappeared. <laughs> my brother, that's not. The reason why you should have come from your house. No normal man will have come from his house because of Jeremy. Am I still a normal man? Look, look at me. Am I still a normal man? Jeremy, I slept with a spirit. Spirit. I slept with her. And the spirit left my house in anger. You see? You see, many of these girls you see parading their beauty along the highway are not human. Majority of them are demons unleashed on earth to go and take vengeance on me. Why don't they take vengeance on me? Did I do anything to them? Why would they take vengeance on me? It's just a pity that you have to learn your own lesson the hard way. I'm sorry. Should I be sincere with you, Jeremy? What? I am not in a hurry to go back to that house. Your house? In the house where I slept with a spirit that vanished right before my eyes. I am not in a hurry to go back to that house. I am going to hang around or hang out or whatever and wait for all, all her leftover, her order, her aura, everything. I must have to wait outside for everything to put out. If I go back there, 
Jadi orang memang tu anda standis, sudah tidak mampu saya, sudah tidak mampu saya, mampu saya tolong dijari. Apa yang mahu anda mula? Apa yang mahu saya? Apa yang mahu saya? I got another offer from Daisy's finances. I would just have a loan again. Oh, how many loans can a bank give one company in a year? They want to host me with several others though, outside of town. You know, and I want you to know. I don't understand what you mean by host. Well, they think that um, if, if MDs or various companies, you know, are more relaxed, socialize, you know, so on. It'll make them work effectively. That's not going to come with me. Okay. Why? That was always already been booked. Everything has been paid for. Come on. I'm not saying you for parties. I didn't say anything about party. I said we're going to socialize. Right? MDs or various companies will be there. We just socialize, you know, meet other people. And see how it goes. Come on. I'm sorry if I didn't say the right thing. I am not going. Right. All right. Don't say I didn't invite you. I call you into this office to address you officially. The only reason why this company is still standing above others is because we don't allow sentiments to be cloud a sense of judgment. We look at issues critically and whatever decision we arrive at always yield positive result. We employed you to work as my senior special assistant because we are convinced with your credentials. You are answerable to me. I want you to discharge your duties without fear of favor. If you are confused anyhow, you come to me. Or, oh, well, on the contrary, you can go to Mr. Kobe. All the things you need to succeed have been provided for, so you don't have any reason to fail. Do you have any more questions? Um, actually, sir, something has been bothering me. Um, what is it? My appointment letter doesn't state what time I resume for work or close from work. I was thinking if that's an omission or perhaps to <laughs> It is neither an omission nor the whole. You are working directly under the managing director as a senior special assistant, and that entails unqualified dedications. Most often I work late into the night, and I don't expect you to leave the office while I'm still here working. So you can now see the reason why your resumption and closing hours were not mentioned in your appointment letters. The most important thing is that for every overtime you did, you must be handsomely rewarded. Any more question? Oh, no, no, sir. Okay. An official car without a driver is provided for the office. You meet Mr. Cook, you will guide you accordingly. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Mr. Thank you so much. I'm really nice to see you. She has masters in human psychology and other masters in crisis management. You are very much convinced that she could do this good work as an SSA to the MD. That's why she was employed. Even you surprise me. Our company is a financial institution. We need financial experts. We need men and women who can manage funds and not some psychologists or some crisis managers. We don't need, we don't have crisis in our company. Oh. Begin to give me the impression that you don't want to see. Okay, 
okay? They didn't employ her to come manage funds. She started coming to assist the MB in his office. And that was the reason she was employed. You're disappointing me, really. You're really disappointing me. Tony, I think you're being ridiculous. Why are you now complaining now that your wife is fine? But you know what I think? I think Sophia took that job just to be fulfilled. Nothing else. Because you don't expect a woman of her status with first class in psychology and two master's degree to be reduced to a housewife. Maybe that's what you're trying to do to her. And she doesn't want it. I think she took that job just to be fulfilled, to have something to do rather than sit at home. I think you should support her. Fred, I'm even surprised at you. I'm surprised at what you're talking about. You know, do, do you know that Sophia is not taking care of the kids the way I want her to? Yeah, but that's why she employed the help of a babysitter. What well, the hell with the babysitter? Listen. I think Sophia needs all the support she can get from you now. Okay? I believe she took that job just to be fulfilled. Hey, I don't even understand you. Why are you supporting her and not me? I'm not supporting her because you are my friend or she's your wife. I'm telling you what I'll do if I were in your shoes. Well, if you were in my shoes, you would do exactly what I'm doing now. No way. That is what you would be doing. No. Why are you acting as if you don't know what happens in the corporate world, the real world? She's working for this MD who doesn't even know what to do with his own money. Sophia is irresistibly unique. She's beautiful, she's charming, she's everything. He will spend any amount. I'm sure he's lusting after her now as we speak. He will spend any amount to sleep with her. And then what happens? I'll be some more. I'm just there. I don't want that to happen. Honestly, I feel like smacking your face right now. Whatever. Did you realize you just insulted your wife before me? Oh, come on. You don't have to be disappointed. Why are you disappointed? You talk as if you're not a man. You don't know what a man will do or how much he's going to spend to, 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 to get a woman in debt. What's your problem? I'm not comfortable with her working as a special assistant to the MD. Period. Look up. Let me give you a piece of advice. I think you should be thankful to your God every day for having Sophia as your wife. Come on, man. Sophia is too principled. She's too disciplined to engage in such a stupid act. Come on, man. You've got to have some trust for her. It's not right. I think she took that job not because of money, but just to be fulfilled, to have something doing, rather than sitting at home. Hey, come on, friend. What can you mind for? Do I want you employ her? If she wants to be fulfilled, you employ her. <laughs> Actually, employ her. <laughs> You know I don't like coming to this place when there's no business. You know. I don't know why you would like asking me stupid questions. They need to hear out the phone. Now go relax. She's on her way.
Why would you want this beautiful girl killed? You call that bastard beautiful? Yes. See that bitch? She's trying to outshine me in the eyes of my MD, and I'm not going to allow that happen. I don't know why you're going to do it. Just skim her for me. How much will that cost? I don't know. The address is not the problem. Are you game for the job? If you can give us 400,000 naira, I'll do it for you. 400,000 naira? For what now? To kill a lady without hands. Ha! I don't have that kind of money. Where did I get that kind of money from? The money is 300,000. Bring the money, give us the address. If you don't want to bring the money, go and kill her by yourself. Love is trust, the deepest trust. Love is sure to play us games. We need trust to run this race. And we'll lead to the so next days. Look into your mm -hmm. eyes and you see all the shadow. Don't so hard to get what is it? I want you to resign. Tony, why would you say a thing like that? Because I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable with your work. I don't like what you're doing. I mean, look at the babysitter. You pass the kids onto the babysitter. Whether she's doing the right thing or not, I don't even know. It's not like I'm a poor man. I don't need anything. I can even pay you double what your office is paying you. I just want to stay home and take care of the kids. That's what I want. Tony, so, do you really think I work because I lack anything? No. I work because I don't want my certificate to be useless. I work because I want to keep my brain busy. I don't understand. Why would you ask me to resign? Listen, before we started, I said I'm going to ask you for something. Please don't say no. Why are you asking me why now? Because you don't sound like the Tony I read it. My love, you were the one who asked me to apply for that job in that company. Why ask me to resign now? Because I didn't think that when you applied, they were going to employ you anything more than the normal staff. And, and suddenly they pushed you up, promote you to, to be the special assistant to the MD. I don't like it, I'm not comfortable. Please, please resign, please. Are you angry that I got promoted? I am not angry. I'm just trying to tell you it's not normal. It's not normal for, for any person to walk into a company and instead of you beginning at level one, they, they push you up to the fourth level. It, it's not normal. Let Come on, I don't want you working there. I don't like it. Now let me remind you, Tom. I got promoted based on my credentials. I have masters in two areas they found relevant. And you just you just sit and you ask me to, to resign? Just resign? Sophia, if, if 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 you want to keep your brain busy, maybe you should apply at the polytechnic. They will gladly employ you as a lecturer. And I'm okay with that. I mean you're working nine to five. I'm I'm fine with that. I don't like the idea of you working for a money bag. I don't like it. If you, if you want to make me happy, then you, you will do as I say, please. I'm not comfortable. Love is trust, the deepest trust. Love is sure to play us games. We need trust to run this race. And we'll leave till endless days. Why would you tell your wife to resign her job just because she's working under a millionaire? It all smells of insanity. Mother, do you know what work she does? Do you know what she's been employed as? She's the senior special assistant to the managing director. Do you know what that entails? And what is wrong with that? Why are you suddenly turning into a bleeping dumb overnight? Allow her to do what gives her joy, please. I'm surprised you're speaking this way. Very surprised. Okay, did she tell you that she breastfed Emeka for only two months? And passed him on to the babysitter who is giving some silly animal milk I don't know about? I didn't marry her to make money because I make enough. I married her because I wanted to take care of the children properly. You know, you're beginning to sound just like a father. Her mom, please give me a break. That's exactly what he did to me. 
He cajoled me into becoming a housewife. He practically forced me into resigning my job as an air hostess at the defunct British Caledonian Airways. I'm not going to sit back and let you unleash such nonsense on your wife. You married a God-fearing wife. Mom, are you on her side? Are you against me? You can say whatever you like, but I'm not going to stand back and see you treat her that way. Allow the poor girl to make use of her certificates. I'm surprised the way you're talking, Nancy. I am. Do, do, do you know what it takes? Do you know what it takes to see Sophia walking around an office? As sexy and irresistible as she is, walking around an office with some millionaire who doesn't even know what to do with his goddamn money? He's just gonna throw it at her, lavish her with money, and then BAM! It happens. Oh, I'm just, not ready to share my wife, because I have been faithful. You've just confirmed something. You don't even know the kind of woman you married. And for your information, not every man are into women. Look, I don't want her calling me and crying into my ears on the phone, please. So please just allow her to do what gives her joy. Okay, that's, that's just all I, I called you. I'm going to check what's on the file. This letter before the end of business today. Okay. Uh, are you aware you are following me to just on the great date? You are following me to just on the great date. I mean, sir, I, I was never told that my job included traveling with you. Besides, my husband will not allow me to leave town. There are certain things you don't expect corporate organizations to put down in writing. You are my senior special assistant, and you don't expect me to attend a conference without my chief aide, do you? I don't have a problem, sir. I mean, honestly, I don't. The problem is my husband. He's very uncomfortable with my job. I don't see what I could ever say to him that warrants him or make him allow me to travel with you on the 20th. Well, in that case, it is important you tell your husband I am not after his wife. <laughs> if I were the kind of man that is a total man, I wouldn't have made a woman my chief head. So, there is no way I will attend a conference without my chief head. So you prepare your mind and get set you are traveling with me to just on the 20th. Right? Okay, sir. I you are welcome. Thank you. 
Our boss, but we didn't know that he traveled. And uh, as it stands now, we are, we, uh -huh. we, are, we are stranded. We just need some money to wait for him. That's my guy over there. Yes, sir. Come on, All right, sir. They are out of trouble. All right, sir. God bless you. All right. Sophie, you see what your late night is causing us? You see what it has just cost us now? It's not about you going to Jaws or not going to Jaws. You know what? My word is final. From today, you're not working in that company. My lord, why are you sounding like this? Those good looks couldn't have been from this thing. I said, you know that. They couldn't have been from there. No, where are they from? My company? Are they from my company? Huh? Fred called me, spoke for over 20 minutes. You're not going to Joss. If you have a problem, then why don't you prepare and go with me? So if you just listen to yourself, you want me to stop my work and follow you to Joss? Just for me to be sure that I'm yours and yours only. Please, my love, let me go. I won't let you down. I don't understand you. I don't understand you anymore, tell me. I don't understand you. Just look at what happened to
Pastor Michael Scott. Are you out of your mind? How can you drink that mad woman, that good for nothing woman, to this Alamabu room? Are you crazy, Banky? I directed her because she said you guys were not picking her calls. I don't want to speak in sense to me either. What do you want to hear that we're not telling you, Banky? What do you want to hear that we're not telling you, Banky? I want to know the reason why we left without a gunshot. After all the time wasted on training her. Listen, Banky. One good turn deserves another. Do you get that? I don't understand what you mean by one good turn deserving another. Rogers, tell him what we saw. We went to the house. We met her with her husband. If it was there. Ah, so? He overpowered you guys or what? Hey, 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 hey. Banky, why are you asking too many nonsense questions? What is wrong with you? You are mad. I ask questions because I want to know the reason why we planned a hit and you guys failed at the point of execution. And no one is speaking sense to me. Now I'm going to you listen. Once God's dropped it, retrospection. The man that gave us 20,000 naira turned out to be the husband of the same woman we were meant to assassinate. Banky, we are talking about a man we do not know. Giving us 20,000 naira. Now tell me, what rights do we have to assassinate the wife? Tell me. But she paid us 300,000 for the So? And so? God check is knocking. Now, can somebody explain why that bastard came to work today? Don't shout here. You can shout there, but here, don't shout, though. No shout, don't shout here. Are you talking to me? Why? You can shout there, but here, don't shout. Here? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? That I paid you 300,000 dollars to kill one small rat like this. One small rat, though, you can wait for you still have the mouth. You have the headphones to talk back at me. Open this your water. Don't forget to rub shit. Hey! See, eh? Guys, I see this way. I don't want you to say you should be the woman here. I want my money. I want my money, yo! My money! She leave the office without telling anybody. I don't know, sir. Perhaps she's busy with the office complex. I'll just keep down the number one and check. All right, go ahead. Wrong. You raped again and still murder her. And you banky. You don't know how indebted we are to the man. She asked us to kill his wife. Everyone would from you. We won't work from you. I bet you. I will make you follow her. And you won't work from you! Came for trouble and you ended in trouble. Did you get 
get our text. Yeah, I got the SMS, but I don't understand what it meant. Well, it means that you don't have any reason to suspect your wife. Well, fine, I don't suspect her anymore. For me, it has been concretized. She is dating her boss. But all of you say, hey, I should let it go. Fine, I'll let it go. I mean, sooner or later, it's going to come out. The truth will come out. Fine. You know, I never realized all this while that Chifu Katiki is actually the person your wife is working with. So you know him? Of course I know him. I know him very, very well. Okay, so it stops him from dating her? It doesn't? Of course it does. You see, he has a physical problem that stops him from having anything physical to do with any woman. What? All right, I'll tell you about it. See, I've known him for a long time. His wife happened to be the president of a women fellowship. Now, before he became the MD, he had this accident while exercising on a bike. It was such a bad accident that uh, he lost his testicles and his, um, you know, got slightly, well, really damaged. So he can't have anything to do with any woman. He is a man of great integrity. I don't know exactly what else you want me to tell you. But that man, Okadike, is not into all that nonsense. He's not into that at all. Now your fear that he might be sleeping with your wife is unfounded. The whole thing is crystal clear. I've checked. The man is not into that. He's not into women. I don't know what else to tell you. You've got to work on your emotions. Please, just do these things. Make things very easy for everybody. And even for yourself. Learn to trust your wife, even for once, please. At least. Understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what is happening here. If Juliet is Jezebel. If Juliet is Jezebel. They have a striking resemblance of them. Juliet Jezebel. I do not see the synchronism and the synchronized together. That girl that I picked from the streets has proved to be the very definition of horror. She has returned me to zero. As I sit here with you, Jeremy, I have placed a permanent course on that very day. I picked her from that nonsense street in DDPA. I have placed the course not only along the streets, even the people that are living in the streets. Even, I have even kept it to place a court on DDPA. Even the whole DDPA. No sense DDPA is dick. No sense. I don't understand. Did she come back to your house? No. The woman, she didn't come back to my house. I said, coming back to in my house to live fast. Living physical in my house. Jeremy, you see? Every day, she left my house. That evening that she, I pursued her. From my house, she said something that I believe. I never believe. I will pay you back! She has finally proved to be the very definition of nonsense, the very definition of evil, the very definition of taboo. Julia is evil. As you are seeing me here now, you my friend. I am as basic as what the basic men you see walking in the streets. I, I actually do not understand all these things. Please, could you, could you come down and explain to me what you mean? Because I don't get you one, I don't get you one bit. You see, eh, this is, 
since all these banks we have in this country, you know, the banks, since they started to crash without notice, mm -hmm. you put money in the bank today, you go to the bank tomorrow, and, and the bank has closed without notice, your money is gone. You are, you are confused. Ever since that, that my people began to get confused of the money they put in the bank. Jeremy, I, I let a new pattern overnight. Overnight, I just let a new pattern. What is it? I was converting all my money to hard currency. I will make every money into liquid cash. I convert the money to hard currency. You know you're my friend, but you don't know how much I have. In my house, Jeremy, I have a safe, a safe, very good safe. You open it with number combination. God, the makers of the safe, they told me that even if fire will cut the whole house, that everything I kept inside the safe will be safe. I believe them. Mm -hmm. I believe them. <laughs> Inside the safe, Jeremy, I kept seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Yes, seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars that I kept in the safe in my house. You have this kind of money in the house? Yeah, yes, I have it. Dollars. It's not cities. It's not cities. It's not say this is it's the last. I get back to my house, Jeremy. And I I I I combine the number of the safe. I open the safe. And you discover that the, the base woman you brought to your house has stolen and has gone with the money. Didn't why you like this? The Lord says, do it, did he steal the money? I was looking at the money. The money was looking at me. I was looking at the money, the money was looking at me. Then why are you organizing it? I was looking at the money, Jeremy. Seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. And then I I I I I was moving in, in slow motion. I was moving in slow motion. Slow motion. I was going to touch this money, Jeremy. The money just do fresh. The money has been converted to dust. Those, those, those. Well, I, I don't Wait. understand that. And then Juliet just appeared. Yeah, like an idiot. I was telling me that what just happened to me, the conversion of my seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars to dust is just the beginning of what is going to happen to me. You know me? I don't know what is planning to do to me. You know, this girl I picked for the street, it didn't appear. You see what I've been telling you? Now, am I not vindicated, Larry? Am I not? Yes, you are. I've always told you this girl is evil. She meant no good. You are even lucky she didn't kill you. After so many years of sleeping, they just woke up one day. They said they want to rebrand. They want to rebrand Nigeria. Say, would you be good to get one another? And I just saw the girl stranded and say, I do remember. I just. How would I know that she's an evil spirit? What kind of rebranding? You, you, you think by picking people along the streets and taking them to your house, you are rebranding the country? It's not done that That's way. what they are saying. They say, would you rebrand this country? Would you begin to get one another? Say, what are eighty thousand dollars that I say for so many years? It's gone. It's gone, Jeremy. No the majority of the people you see on that street are not humans. You said that to me before. I don't know what I'm going to do, Jeremy. I'm finished.
Shadow, dance for what we've got through the window. Cause distrust is a raging storm, it destroys the cell of love. So trust me, learn to trust, trust me. So trust me, learn to trust me. So trust me. Learn to trust me. So trust me. My eyes are heavy because of love. My soul is broken. Where is the love I used to know? Where is the feeling you've always shown? 